Good morning. Um, I'm out here doing the animals this morning. And I haven't been to the garden yet. Kind of dreading it. <laughs> um, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll know that hogs got into it. And I think it was just more of an initial shock um, that something you've worked so hard for can quickly be taken away. We have been in contact with our local agricultural department since we are a farm. Um, we have also been in contact with Fish and Game. We know the laws, we know our rights, and we are fully operating within all of that. We are not doing anything illegal. We are not doing anything outside the scope of what we've been told to do. These are an incredibly invasive and dangerous animal. They will attack a child, they will attack an adult, then they do not stop once they start attacking. They destroy thousands of dollars worth of crops with the local farmers. Um, they have killed animals. They will get into um, pig pens and breed domesticated pigs. Uh, they are, they're no joke. So. Um, we don't take this kind of situation lightly. This is a very hard situation, but this is the reality of this lifestyle. So we have children, we have livestock, and we have crops that we need to protect. And I know anytime you start talking about this kind of stuff, it can get a little hairy. <laughs> but this is the reality of homesteading. We this are is coming to check out the garden area. They've completely even made their way over here by the road and torn all that up. It's new. What is? That's new? Yeah. Right there was not there yesterday. That? Yep, that wasn't there yesterday. So they came in again? They came in again. Mm. It looked like so far they were back in the garden. Well, that's a relief. Let me mess that up. What do you think about it all? It's good. <laughs> it's not good. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I mean, nobody likes dealing with it, but... You're it's a good. lot more cool, calm, and collected over it than I am. I was emotional yesterday. <laughs> Just yesterday? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so rude to me. <laughs> See this kind of abuse I get? Ugh, it's like every time I see all this destruction, it kind of just makes my heart sink a little bit. I mean, like they could have completely knocked down these berry bushes, so. Thank you, Jesus. Like, I just know it could have been so much worse. I also think I might have a pumpkin down here. It's really close. Knocked over my cosmos. Still beautiful. I really want to save seeds off of these this year. I had a day to like recover and uh, get myself together. <laughs> Sorry for being so emotional it's just like I think it was the reality of it that um wow like this is literally something you always kind of have to worry about and be mindful of and think smart about um kind of just came at me all at once and I wasn't 
prepared for it. People talk about their favorite spot in the garden. This has to be mine with these beautiful flowers. Just like, that's too much. I love it. Um, oh no, I had a hornworm in this bucket I was gonna take <laughs> and get rid of and all the emotion of yesterday I totally forgot and now it's gone. Um, like leaf and all is gone, so I wonder if an animal, like a bird got it. Anyway, focus. I'm all over the place. We have been really, really blessed to not have had any major garden issues this year. Or actually in the last two years that we've been here, we've not had any problems. Other than like, we had the bear come and wipe out our corn, but that wasn't devastating. Um, actually through that like we discovered a really awesome farmer and we're able to support them um but we've not had like anything completely wipe us out or wipe out like our whole flock of chickens or any of these just awful stories that you hear about or that so i think uh coming face to face with the reality of that could be us Yesterday was almost too much for me to bear. Like the thought that this could be completely wiped out uh, really just hit me. So um, I am so extremely thankful that we still have a beautiful garden. We What we lost can still be replaced. I can totally plant another round of kale going into fall and it's okay um the husband and the kids were really not upset that the kale was <laughs> i was the only one like how the wild hog is going to eat the kale of all things but um i can still plant myself more kale and eat all the kale caesar salads i can take this fall and winter um so it's okay and it 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 could have it could have been a million times worse than what it was and I'm so thankful it wasn't it's just now living with the reality that this is this is your reality this is what happens when you take on homesteading and you farm or you grow your own food and you have livestock this is what can happen I mean I feel like this could happen anywhere you live whether it's in a neighborhood i've heard of people losing their entire gardens because the electric company came and sprayed weed killer or chemicals um it, they've lost their entire hives to things like that so no matter where you live you're gonna run into um threats to your homestead for us out here up against national forests it's bears and wild hog that's just um, what we have to be mindful of but it was a big wake-up call for me and moving forward I am going to make sure that when I come out here I and whoever's with me is protected and we are going to um, work with other people to try to make sure that this doesn't become an overrun problem um, Aaron did go hunting last night and they were able to get one it's not it's not going to be a wasted thing either and we will just keep moving along keep moving forward and just because you know this happened I'm still going to put my faith in the fact that it is protected I'm not gonna pull my faith away and be like well that happened and um, I just can't no like I'm I still have complete trust that God's hands on my garden and it's protected because it's the desire of my heart and um, I'm going to keep trusting and keep moving forward and keep loving this space and bringing y'all with me. So may the Lord bless and keep you. Until next time.